If you have a file with dates and times in the same cell, we'll see two quick ways that you can separate that into date and time columns. The first one we'll use a formula. So in here I'm going to click and type an equal sign. We'll use the int function, which is for an integer. And that is going to pull the whole number from this cell, which is just the date part of the date and time. When I press enter, we'll see a date. Now if you see a number, you can format that as a date. And then I can select that cell, double click on the fill handle, and I very quickly have all the dates. If a date has a time attached to it, that's a decimal number. So if it's 12 noon, it would be the date number 0.5. So we want to just get that decimal portion, so we'll type equals the date, so that's the full number including the decimal, and then minus the date portion, we want to subtract that full number, so we'll use the INT bracket and click on the date, and when I press enter, we get the time, and again, you might have to format that as time if you're just seeing a number, and then fill that down. We can also pull this out without a formula. So here's another copy of the same list, and in here I'm going to just type the first two dates. So I'll type 2 1 16 and 2 3 16. And now we're going to use the flash fill, and if you're doing this with text, it would fill down automatically usually once we set a pattern. But for numbers or dates, it doesn't do that. We can go to the Data tab and click Flash Fill, and then it will suggest the rest of the dates for you. And then you can come here and accept or undo, or just leave it as is if you want to accept it. And we can do the same thing for the time. So I'll type the first couple. And 9.32, and now again I'll go and click Flash Fill, and it fills down the rest, and they look fine to me, so I'll leave those as is. Now those won't change if these dates change. On the sheet where we used a formula, if we update a time or the date, because we have formulas here, those would update. For more Excel tips and tutorials, and to download the sample file for this video, please visit my Contextures website at www.contextures.com.